Here are seven fundamental tips you need to know before you mix a bucket of thin set. Welcome to DIY Tile Guys YouTube channel. Tip number one, keep your thin set mortar and the water out of the heat. So what that means is keep your mortar out of the sun. If you have it stored out outside, keep it out of the sun, keep it somewhere you know cool in a garage preferably. If you have it stored inside, don't have it stored in front of a heater. If you are using water out of a hose and that, that hose is stretched out across the yard and the sun has been heating it up, make sure that you spray that water out of the hose first, the warm water, and get to the clean, cool water, which is what you want for mixing. Tip number two is pre-measure your water ahead of time before you start mixing. So what you want to do is look at the back of the bag of Thinset. It's going to have a, a range of water. Usually I go with the high end of the range. You pre-measure that out, pour it in the bucket, then pour the mortar in, and then start mixing. Now the problem is some manufacturers don't let you add enough. You know, they're, they, they, they're, the number on the bag isn't quite enough. I don't know what to tell you. You'll have to add a little bit more, but some manufacturers have it right. Okay, so always pre-measure your water first, dump it in, and then start mixing. Tip number three, ideally you want to use a vacuum when mixing mortar. Uh, the vacuum would keep the dust under control. And so when you're pouring that bag out, the dust goes in the vacuum. Uh, always, you always would definitely want to wear a mask, like an N95 mask, to keep the silica dust from that bag out of your lungs. Very important. Tip number four, mix longer than you think. So when you're mixing that mortar, you're going to want to mix it for at least two full minutes and that is a longer time than what you think. Some manufacturers like Schluter, with their all set, they want you to mix five full minutes. That seems a bit excessive to me, but make sure you mix it two minutes minimum. Two to three is, is usually pretty good for most mortars. Tip number five is slake your mortar. What does that mean, slake your mortar? So that's a term that we use in the industry. What you're gonna do is you're going to mix the mortar up two to three minutes and then you're just going to let that bucket of thin set sit there and you're not going to do anything to it you're not going to use it you're not going to do anything it's just going to sit there so that's the slaking process and what, what that does is it lets it, all the chemicals and everything hydrate that's in there and then you're going to remix it for another minute once that's done so you're going to slake the mortar usually five minutes is good and then remix it for another minute Tip number six, never add more water to your thin set unless it's within like the very first minute of mixing. So once you have that mortar mixed up, if you've, let it, if you've mixed it for two to three minutes and you're about to let it go through the slaking process, it's too late to add more water. If you add more water now, you're gonna ruin the strength of the mortar. If you do need to add more water, Add it within the very first minute of mixing and then make sure you mix it for two full minutes after that. Anything after that and it's no good, you're just going to have to call it a learning experience and mix more. Tip number seven, if you can, try and mix the thin set with a ribbon style mixing paddle. Those have been shown to give higher bond strengths than mortar that's been mixed with the egg beater style or any other style uh, besides that. The ribbon style is ideal for mixing mortar. You know, if you already got something else, maybe you just use that. But if you're going to go out and buy one, try and buy that ribbon style mixer. So there you have it. Seven fundamental tips for mixing mortar. Let me know what you think in the comments. And my next video is going to be how to mix small batches. I think you're going to find that video very useful.